Hey there, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Uh, today's bad boy we got here is uh, my American Muscle, which is a 1 8 scale Ertl Collectibles car. It's a, a 1970 Challenger TA, or Trans Am. Um, it's actually a Dodge, obviously. So we got a you know, pretty, pretty tough looking car here. So what we'll do is we'll um, you know, endeavour to get this bad boy open. I paid $75 for this off someone on eBay. So it was a second second hand, I suppose, but um, still in um, brand new in the box. And if it allows me to take it out for you, we can get a good look. The sun's come out today for us in Melbourne on winter's day, but at least we've got some uh, nice sun here. We can see this bad boy for what it is. Let's see if we can get some of this tape off. Um, but as you can see, it comes on a nice nice base here. Um, it's a 346 pack as you can see and um, it's got a little backing board on the back there and it's obviously held on by these screws right right there so what I'll do is I will save you the, the headache of watching me go through taking it off the base and I'll be back in one second once I've taken this uh, base off and I'll show you the car in better detail okay we're back and as you can see Loosen those screws off, it's quite easy, it's just two screws and that allows you to take that um, base off and uh, also gives you a chance to check out the underneath here check out the exhaust oh, it's got a nice dual exhaust dumping, dumping out in front of those rear tyres nice detail of the undercarriage in, the, in there oh, it's a pretty, pretty tough looking unit this obviously that's some plastic that holds the bonnet down um, we'll just that'll be for the doors. So what we'll do is we'll spin this baby over. We'll just put it down for a moment, and I'll just get a little, little blade out and I'll cut this tape out of the way so we can get these doors open. What do you reckon? So we'll just take take that tape out of the way, open that door. gone so as you can see it's in this beautiful beautiful yellow color here and uh, the crows as you can see we're outside so we've got some beautiful uh, sunlight on this bad boy it's a pretty tough tough muscle car 70s like the late 60s mid 70s pretty pretty tough looking units muscle car era some really really tough tough cars came out in those eras and Really unique cars and some fantastic colours and everything like that. So, and this this one's no ex exception. So, obviously this is the the 346 pack. So it'll have the triple triple carbs on, under that bonnet there. It's pretty. Oh, there we go. We got some uh, we got bonnet open. You can see the the detail in there. We'll see if we can zoom in a little bit better for you. So you can have a bit of a better look there. You can see that uh, tough six pack sitting in there. You can't, obviously, you can't see the calves because of the air cleaner, but um, no, it's a pretty, pretty tough looking unit. I think it had around 290 horsepower from factory, so which is pretty good. These are the, the old pony cars, but um, the front wheels do manipulate. There is some nice movement in there. And there's, I'm not sure if you can see with the steering wheel there, we'll open the door and uh, see if you can sort of zoom in in there. Well, you can see the steering wheel does does turn with the manipulation of the wheels. And so you can, yep, as you can see, turn it, the steering wheel. So if you've got a friend small enough to hop in this car, you can drive it for you. So, but um, no, this is 1.8 scale, it's all die cast. Um, obviously with some little plastic parts and stuff. The interior is all nice and uh, nice and accurate. So you can see the, the door trims. Hopefully you can see them nicely. Have a little look inside the car. It's got the old uh, Hurst shifter, I think, in there. Very nice detail inside. Pistol grip. And it's got all the um, beautiful, beautiful um, pinstriping on the side. 
denoting the nice decals for this 346 pack. Um, no, it's, a, it's definitely a pretty, pretty tough looking car. Satin blackouts on the bonnet represents very nicely. Don't want that sun glare while you're, you're racing somebody back in the day. But um, no, this 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 colour really pops, especially out in a nice nice sun. So boot boot doesn't doesn't open, so it's sealed there. But obviously, as you saw, the bonnet does open nicely, and um, does does reveal a lot of engine detail in there. And you got the hood scoop and everything. It's quite. Quite, and, and the bonnet pins and everything on there too. So, yeah, overall detail of this this is pretty good. Um, as you can see, it sits in the hand beautifully. Very very tough looking unit. Try not to get blown away today. <laughs> but uh, have a look on the on the back of her. You can see the stance on this thing. It's really really tough looking car. The old Challenger. I definitely think these cars are, are nice cars. I, I like these cars. Always been a bit partial to a bit of bit of Dodge, like the old Hemi. Hemi's always been a real tough motor. Sound sound tough, sound great. So if you're lucky enough to uh, to have one in your possession, you're a very lucky person indeed. These cars are quite rare. I think only uh, two you know two thousand and something. Just trying to think. Um, I think it was 2,399, I think it was, if that's correct. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong. Uh, these bad boys were, were produced. So they are they are a pretty rare commodity. So, yeah. But uh, we'll keep it short. So this is it. This is by Ertl. It's the American Muscle Series. It's a 1970 Challenger TA with Trans Am. It's a 340 V8 six-pack. And that's it, and one on inch scale die cast. So yeah, I'll uh, obviously chuck some uh, photos up without my sausage fingers in the way. And um, if you found this video helpful and enjoyed it, give us a like. And uh, if you feel like it, subscribe to uh, you know, keep in touch with uh, other videos I, I plan to re release in the future and some past videos. So yeah, well, you have a great rest of your day and uh, cheers. Thanks for watching.